Yeah. And, and when it comes to deposits, what's normal here in the state of Louisiana in terms of what um, landlords typically ask for? They ask for a deposit of about how much and then first month's rent, last month's rent. Tell us what is it that people can typically expect? Well, we most commonly see when someone moves in is it'd be a deposit which would be in a first month's rent and mm -hmm. the deposit would usually be the same as the first month's rent. Mm -hmm. We did a survey of 100 of our clients mm -hmm. and you have to keep in mind our clients are all low income um, and their average deposit was $1,000. That's um, a lot. That's a lot. And, low and that's yeah. mainly post Katrina, you know, before Katrina, uh, typically, our average client might have like a five hundred, six hundred dollar deposit, mm -hmm. but you know, all those low income, unsubsidized rentals are gone with the wind and the water, so you don't find five hundred dollar rents very sure, more. Sure. And it's it's a really important issue, not just for our clients, but really for everybody. And the only other thing I would mention about deposits is that, you know, we've mostly been talking about damage, but under the security deposit law. If there are other amounts that are due, the landlord can also deduct that. So if you move out going rent, guess what? You're not going to get your deposit back. back. Mm -hmm. If you move out owing for some kind of other fees, um, I don't know, maybe you had late fees that accumulated or a mm -hmm. damage fee or a unpaid pet deposit mm -hmm. or something like that, mm -hmm. um, the landlord is going to is going to deduct that. So mm -hmm. it's not just damages, although that's typically where the issues arise.